Welcome back again to another episode of Just Sweet Jenny. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Jennifer. In case you are coming across my video for the very first time, this video is an update still on Yon Edoshe and his family saga. This is coming from the decks of Family Law Clinic, DPA, on Facebook. My people, it is getting hotter. And I'm glad that Queen May Edoshe is following the due process, which is a very good one, okay? So guys, the information that is reaching us today is that May Edoshe slams Judy Austin a hundred million naira lawsuit. My people, this is getting interesting. Queen May is indeed following the right step. So my people, according to this piece I saw on DPA, Family Law Clinic. It read, Young Edoshi's situation, understanding the reality of it. So, Family Law Clinic is a page that specializes in settling family disputes on Facebook. So, I think they have a first hand information on the current situation at hand between May Edoshi and her husband, Yol Edoshi. So they made this post recently and according to them, May has already filed a lawsuit against Judy Austin. He, she also sued her for a hundred million naira. So their post read, I have not seen in recent times a case where so much is going on and yet not much is known to the public despite the intense public interest. For the avoidance of doubt, May Yol Edoshe filed a divorce petition against Yo. She also filed against Judy as, as a party cited and she is asking for a hundred million naira damages against Judy for adultery with her husband. Make no mistake about it. Yol and Judy are not husband and wife and cannot be so until Yol and May are divorced. It is a combination of delusion and absurdity for the two to call themselves husband and wife yet. Both Judy and Yol are aware of the lawsuit, having received copies of the sealed papers by email. Surprisingly, both Yol and Judy are avoiding service of the process upon them. The, the court belief has tried so many times to set them in accordance with the rule of court, but they've been avoiding it. My people, Judy Austin and Yol Edoshe don't they run kitty kitty kata kata. They have refused to be served and they've been commuting nuisance on the internet. Shading May Edoshi. Now, May Edoshi have filed a lawsuit against Judy Austin and slammed her with a hundred million naira damages. My people, Judy Austin go collect woto woto. No peace for the wicked. Look at how they are on social media disgracing themselves and you know making videos up and down on daily basis just to tell us that everything is all right but then you will know who have peace and who does not have peace they don't look like people who have peace in their life because the way they're going about all this social media um content and all of that it look as if they don't have that peace once so in addition they also said that may also filed another order of court restraining you from assessing their former matrimonial home that application is based on the fact that there are genuine security and safety concerns so last weekend against all advice you attempted to assess the home now occupied alone by me and his children but was stopped by the intervention of law professionals so these people said that he wanted to go back to his home in lagos but was stopped by the police because according to the court they gave an order that you should not go back to their home in lagos like he should stay out of the house for now okay temporal till the court preside on the case at the, at the moment your has refused to be served they've been running kitty kitty kata kata you told someone about your intention on engaging in polygamy but your wife said no that she is not interested 
Instead, she is seeking for a divorce, but yet you have refused to grant her the divorce. Running helter-skelter with your side chick. They also have also been served by me, but yet they refuse to accept the petition. Mm -hmm. They've just been dodging court orders, dodging. But I know that one day they will surely head to the court and do the needful. Kudos to May Edoshe for following the right step. You see it, May is a wise woman. She does not talk too much on social media. Instead of coming to social media to embarrass yourself, why not go through the due process? I'm so happy she did this exact thing, like following the due process. And now she has gotten all that she, you know, that she wanted. I firstly, I stand with May Edoshe 100%. Whatever the situation will bring, I still stand with me. I stand with her because that woman really tried. All the insults that Judy Austin and Yon Edoshe has been giving this woman, yet she, she kept moot. This is how matured people behave. She kept moot and, you know, allowed the law to take its course on them. This is exactly the definition of a vicious woman, a classy woman. A woman with zero drama. That is May Edoshe for you. Now look at what Jem Yol has brought upon himself. With this kind of woman that is behaving like an abuero. Just take a look at how Judy Austin displayed the day he came to site for me eh, for you on, on social media. Look at the kind of words that she used on people. May can't even do that kind of thing. If you can leave someone like May Edoshe to go for someone like Judy. Like I don't get it. How can you leave America to go to Ajegule? This is just somehow, honestly. But then, I'm so happy that May Edoshe knows her rights and that she, that she is following the due process. So this is the update. Yon Edoshe has been prevented by the law enforcement agency from entering his house because last weekend, he wanted to move into the house and they told him, no, you cannot enter, you have to obey the court order. And court said that for now, you should stay away from this home. This home belongs to your wife now till everything has been settled in court. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to hold it here for now. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, follow my page, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.